All right, this is my VU4 Accurator manifold. Uh, this is from my previous car. Uh, installing in, into the new car, I found out that some of these valves were sticking. So I ordered this kit. Solenoid replacement. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna try. I took it apart the other day just to check it out. And it's not too bad. I got all these seals and stuff and solenoids. Previously, I really, really replaced, uh, I believe, this one. That's why there's a mark right there. I didn't know what I was really doing. Also, this one was replaced. This one was leaking. As well as this one. So those are all replaced. I think, yeah, I did three. I still have more, just in case I need to replace it. Uh... If I didn't post a video earlier, I'll add it to this video so you can see me taking taking uh, these fittings out and replacing it. You gotta use a chisel to bang it out and stuff. I'll put clips uh, right here before I take apart this, I guess, if I never posted it. So this is how you service these. I didn't know how to take them apart or I wasn't comfortable, but I think I'm really comfortable doing any service work on these now. So yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I can try to answer them for you. There's other videos out there. Uh, let me set you guys up on a tripod and take this apart. All right, so it comes with this tool. You use underneath here. So these are 14 millimeter. Or maybe a standard, but my 14 millimeter 3.8s Craftsman fits. What's weird is I have a Craftsman one quarter inch 14 millimeter, but it won't fit this. These are pretty loose, not too tight. There's just here to tighten, hold down this circuit board. The harness to, to the solenoids. Oh, sorry for the shaky camera. Tripod's on the table as well. This just lifts right up. It should lift right up. light Okay. 
put this aside for now. All right, let's work on taking these out. All right, so let's work on getting these out. There is an actual tool that uh, this kit comes with. It's this piece right here. You use these two knobs right here. Show you in a little bit. But I also found out when I was taking it apart this past weekend just to figure out if I'm comfortable doing it, you could actually use one of these tools. Uh, it is part of my antenna removal tool for my back from my car audio days. So it's all kinds of different ones. These are four, three, but yeah, inside of the kit, there was one of these and it fit perfectly. So all you gotta do is do this. That's if you have one of these tools. This one valve out with the plunger and then that is the rub piece you can see there's a little indentation this whole piece is gonna get replaced and then here it's inside the manifold block you can see that's where that little plunger sits to hold the air and then I think those two valves are to air up I mean air up and then a release valve or the channel uh, actually no, those are probably both air up. Air from this go into those two little holes. And then, no, actually no. Air from this comes from the middle hole. When you lift the plunger, it fills up the two little holes and the, the valley, I guess, inside of here. And then this valve, when you lift it, will release it and have it come out. This one. So here's the tool that it comes with. Same process. Put it right there. And turn it. Turn it loose. Righty tighty lefty loosey. also now so that's how it comes out let me take all these out and then show you what I'm working with after that point All right, got all the pieces out. This is the manifold, uh, not very dirty. Uh, last time I took it apart during this weekend, it actually was pretty clean. So I just blew it out really quick with my with ear. And these are all the top of the solenoid caps, or I don't know what it's considered, but we also have these right here. So notice these are all the ones that I removed and then there's one brand new one sitting right there next to them that I'm replacing it with. You can see the rubber uh, seal, there's like indentations from the manifold center. This one is a brand new one, it doesn't have the indentation. Um, other than that, I don't see a difference. Yeah, I don't see a difference really. Not sure what else about them would be requiring them to uh, be replaced if they get they stick or whatnot. They stick, they they say. Yeah, whatever. This 
replacement kit is for when the valve's solenoid sticks. So is it because of this sticking on the top, the seal, or is it because the spring is weak? Uh, which doesn't make sense because it's, it's always being held down. It's just it won't lift. It won't go in a position where it goes into here. Like this is this is how it works basically. So when the solenoid it's always closed. When the solenoid activates, it pulls this up and allows the air to pass through the manifold. So it's pretty simple, basic design. So close and then open allows the air to come through. So let me get these new ones in. back to time lapse oh yeah actually I need to replace these o-rings as well we had a little pick then we'll try to pick one and see how it goes the replacement part kit comes with new o-rings so let's get those out really quick see how it goes Still nice and soft. I mean, these could have went some more. Oh, let's see. Pull test. Yeah, still soft. I'm gonna replace it anyway because since I have the the new ones in the kit. Alright, so all the O-rings are out. Blow it with air. Let's see. Alright, so got all the O-rings out. I'm gonna load up the new O-rings. Right here, they came in the bag. All the solo noise got the little plunger kind of mocked into place, scattered around. So, I'm gonna do a time lapse of reassembling this right now. <laughs> All right, it's all back together. Just gonna snug it up really quick.
is over. I'll just leave this upside down because there's these washer pieces that need to go back in that groove. So I'm purposely. Let's see. What side was what? So it looks like there's a taper right there, so gotta make sure this goes that direction. So you actually should slide this over, which would be, let's see, I'll have it like this. This, this big ass rubber band is like pushing the ball together. So when you take it off, you don't need to take it off, but when you put it on, probably it'd be helpful. Oh, this one's way off. I wonder. Okay. All right, so that should give us a better chance of getting it on. easier this time. Let me sure all those washers sit down properly. Or those spaces, whatever they're called. The gold piece. So they all look like they're sitting right. Alright, now we're just going to snug these a little bit.
anything too crazy. All right, got it all back together. Snug these tight with my ratcheting ratchet socket, 14 mil. Probably stand there, like I said. Um, this 14 mil Craftsman fit, but my other 14 mil Craftsman didn't fit. So it's really weird. And just got the wrong size. And then now we can put this piece back on by stretching it into place. It's more of a cosmetic piece. It's not really needed. It's kind of to hide the solenoid and the wiring, clean it up, make it look pretty. There we go, we are all done. I practically f almost fully rebuilt it. I mean, if I need to, I guess I could do it again. These, this one's been replaced, this one's been replaced, this one as well. Uh, maybe another one of these, I don't really remember. But I have extras to replace them all. All right, leave a comment below if you have any questions be more than willing to try to answer them. I'm not an expert, but I'm good at figuring this stuff out on my own after doing some research. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in using the socket I have, here's the part number for it. Got the manifold all back into place. Didn't do the airline shit because I don't want to score it. See all those uh, markings at the end of it. This one's going to have to be replaced. It's leaking from there, the last I seen. I had to cut those down a little bit. Paid for these expensive fittings, but you see how marred up it is? It's leaking from there now. Yep, these are going in the garbage or somehow I need to clean them up because there's a really slow leak coming from it now. Oh well. All right, in the car, I'm gonna hit the buttons, all four corners, up and down. Here they're clicking. Previously, some of these did not do anything. And then I took it apart and then the issue went to a different corner. So maybe it didn't need to be serviced. It's all good now. I'm gonna finish up the air suspension now, hopefully. Make sure that there's no leaks and stuff. Alright, doing a quick leak down test. Just gonna spray all the push to connect soapy water. Make sure it's not leaking. If it is leaking, you'll see bubbles. So far. Looks good. I'm gonna leave it overnight a couple of days. Make sure everything holds air, bags, and the tank. Alright. 